Hi everyone, welcome to the session once again. Have you ever observed things around you? The things may be in solid form, liquid form or gaseous form. Can you name some of the substances or the things which are in solid form? Do all these substances allow the current to pass through it? Have you ever checked? Why do wires are covered with plastic coating? Electric ions, presses are given with the plastic or wooden uh, handles. Why do the electricians wear gloves? When you are walking with electric affiliates, usually people wear ch rubber chapel. Have you ever observed? Why do all these things are happening? Which of the materials allow the light to current to pass through it? Which are good conductors or which are conductors of electricity? In the materials which we see around us. So in this session, let us try to test some of the materials. So I have taken some materials here. Iron nail and later eraser, a marker pen, pencil and later it is uh, scissors and plastic nails and different things I have. Some materials I have collected. You can check with different materials. So which allows the current to pass through them are called conductors. Which do not allow the current to pass through them are called insulators. So materials basically divided into basically two different categories. One is conductors and insulators. But sometimes we say semiconductors also. Some substances allow current at particular conditions. Those are called semiconductors. Usually germanium and uh, gallium are the semiconductors. Usually silicon or semiconductors. But here anyway we are not using. But in LED we use already that material. So let us, our main task is to check which of the substances given here are conducting the electricity. For that, simply I have taken a simple electric circuit for which I can connect. There is a source of electricity, current, batteries, I am using batteries and these are connected with the connecting wire. To check whether current is passing, I have put an LED. This LED is given connection to the positive terminal. That is very very important when you are connecting LED. Long lead has to be given connection to the positive terminal of the battery. If you reverse it, certainly LED works as a switch. Current does not flow because charges do not pass from one metal to the another metal there. Diode in, in the diode. So now what I do is, first I am checking for the metal, metal nail, iron nail. See here I am nail, just I am touching two ends, one end of the iron nail to the LED, another end is connection to the you can observe the light. That means iron nail is allowing the current pass through it. Iron nail is a conductor. Now I am using eraser. You see? Now I am connecting. What will be the result? Can you guess? Yes, that's true. It is not allowing the current to pass through it. Next, scissors. In scissors, there are plastic terminal and a metal terminal. Let us check with the metal terminal versus plastic terminal and what happens. Did the bulb glow? No. But if you use the metal terminal, check you here. If you use the metal, bulb glow. But if you use the plastic material, bulb is not glowing. So in the scissors, two different th things we have seen. When you use only the metal piece, bulb glow. But when you use metal combined with non-metal that is a plastic bulb did not glow. Now let us use pencil. Pencil means lead or the wood. Two things here we have. 
only if you connect it to the lead so only lead only what happens check see when you connect only to the lead bulb is glowing when you connect lead to the wood is the bulb glowing no it's not glowing but that means here the lead is allowing the current to pass through but the wood is not allowing the current to pass through next another one is plastic nails you see now let us connect in this way do you observe anything bulb is not glowing here if you go for bulb is not glowing and later led bulb let us take one another led and see what happens anyway led is glowing now what do i do is here you see i am connecting long head to the negative terminal and here short one to this did the bulb glow no now let us see in this way let i connect When we connect LED, two LEDs are not glowing. You see, why does it happen? So think over. Next marker. See, is the bulb glowing? Because marker is made up of plastic, therefore it is not glowing. Now, already we tested for wood, pencil wood. is the bulb glowing no it's not glowing in this way you collect plenty variety of materials and check very simple device tester what is the tester we have some batteries here and batteries are connected with wires and a led bulb is given here and in between if you keep any object if it allows a current if it is a conductor the bulb glows if it is not a conductor bulb does not glow in that way you can test the different materials but why you have to test we have to be very cautious electric current may bring damage to the life also to the materials also for the safe god we have to use insulated materials to be safe from the electric circuits that's why wires are usually coated with plastic uh, cable do you see this plastic material plastic does not allow the current to pass through it even the handles iron handles usually made up of wooden or the plastic because these two are insulators but at home for the electric circuits usually we use copper wire copper wire is a very very good conductor of electricity aluminum copper wire silver these three are very good conductors of electricity whereas plastic wood and all these are very bad conductors of electricity all these are solids only all the solids do not allow the electricity to pass through them but only some allow the electricity to pass through them and some do not the materials which allow the electricity to pass through them are called conductors the materials which do not allow the current to pass through them are called insulators now list out the materials which you have collected and classify them into conductors and semiconductors and insulators